Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you some pistol gameplay and pretty much how to get easy pistol headshots um, while playing Call of Duty World War II. If you're on your camel grind, you're going to need to get 100 for all three of your pistols and then you're going to be able to get them with the other six challenges. The two guns that are going to be featured in this video are the P08 and the 1911. Both pistols have a pretty good one-shot kill potential and then what you're going to see is how I navigate the map, how I position myself, Obviously, I don't go flawless or nothing crazy. It's hardcore. This isn't the mode I typically play. But these are the last two matches I had to unlock gold on each of these weapons. I didn't want to cherry pick my matches. So basically, I just chose whichever one I unlocked gold with, with each of the weapons. So right there, I'm damaging myself right off the bat. Because one of the challenges once you get the 100 headshots is you do have to get kills, get 10 kills while low health. So basically, I'm throwing a nade. I got armored. And you're going to see the red stays on my screen the entire time while I'm getting these kills. So pretty much... That was the goal of the end. I need to get that and I think one more Bloodthirsty, um, which you're going to see in the, in the match. So basically that's what I'm doing. I'm playing out the match. You have to play a lot slower and hardcore and just kind of wait for people at different positioning. So right there, that was all I needed. I unlocked it. I was able to get the, the five near-death kill medals. Um, like As you saw there, that's the tactic I would use to do that one. And then you got to play hardcore. It's a one-shot kill pretty much at all ranges. Especially if you're using advanced rifling, you're going to be able to get that range pushed out. With the machine the pistol, you might want to use high caliber just because then it'll make a one-shot kill at all ranges versus a two-shot at pretty much most ranges in hardcore. One of the main reasons I don't really touch hardcore as far as the game mode goes just because overall it relies heavily on reaction time. And as you get older, your reaction time slows down. Now that I'm 30 years old, my reaction time is a lot slower than a 14 to 20 to 25 year old. I'm not saying that someone who's 50 can't have amazing reaction speed, but just statistically, as you age, your reaction time slows. So something paid attention to, uh, as far as this mode, that's one of the reasons I don't play it, because I don't have the best reflexes. I do make some good shots, I do aim pretty accurately, I pre-aim, fire pretty well. There's a lot of different things that I'm doing to reposition so I make sure I win these gunfights. This guy ends up uh, kind of chasing him down, come around the corner, and then I get shot in the back. That guy... I think he's running mountain in hardcore. I guess he's doing that so he can sound whore. Which is perfectly fine, right? Me, I was just running energetic with uh, armored. So nothing special. I just wanted to be able to hip fire if I needed to. So I could fire immediately coming off of sprint. So right here, I'm just kind of positioning myself. I kind of rotate back and forth. St. Marie Dumont um, is a kind of a funny map because a lot of times people do want to camp in the buildings. Um, for me, I was kind of running around a majority of the time. I'm 8 and 2. This match is a little bit slower paced um, than the second match. The second match with the 1911, you, the, the end of that match is pretty epic. So you're going to want to stick around for that. Um, and then when I'm co moving around the map, I'm playing it as if I'm playing free for all. You do want to rotate on the edge of the map. So on this side, you're going to stay on this side of the house. And on the other side, you're going to rotate to the other side of the house. Um, just so that you're kind of rotating back and forth. And then kind of leaving a spawn available, rotating back, leaving a spawn available, rotating back. And then I do have a preference on which side I want to be on. Preferably, I, I do prefer the other side of the map, but I kind of got to rotate where I'm available right here. So kind of just pushing back and forth. Nothing crazy. You just got to wait for people because a lot of times people just going to wait and wait and camp. And that's really what I don't enjoy doing. I'm moving around. You can see I'm moving around pretty quickly for being hardcore, lasering these shots. The problem with the, the pistols as well is even in hardcore, you start running out of ammo when you get on a 12-15 streak. Um, which I was able to do while trying out these guns, getting them to gold. But that's just something that I'm not going to run forage uh, for my pistol to get a pistol V2 or something like that. Um, or go crazy in hardcore. You just need the right lobby, I guess. Especially when I was going for the challenges, make sure that I got those headshots. A lot of times you lose gunfights because I'm specifically aiming for the head so I can finish the challenge as quick as possible. And then I get back to regular core modes. Uh, another reason why I'm not really the biggest fan of hardcore is just because... A lot of times it doesn't always come down to gun skill or positioning or whatever. It could just be one guy is just sitting there aiming down sight and then just waiting and waiting. He'll wait the entire match for you to come around the corner and then he's already firing. By the time you pull up your gun, it's already too late. So right there, another headshot, even though I don't need him. I'm just in the habit of getting the headshots. So I'm going through, running around, and um, you can see I go ahead and pull this guy off spawn. And another guy right here off of spawn. I kind of go ahead and try and rotate behind him. I know I do have a lot of different um, subscribers that actually are a fan of hardcore. Um, but I'd like to know what else you guys are playing down in the comment section below. So 
Let me know. Go ahead and put down in the comments section what mode you prefer to play. Do you prefer core modes or hardcore modes or what do you prefer like war or ground war? Or what do you what do you prefer in, in Call of Duty World War 2? Preferably for me, my favorite modes are some of the objective game modes, specifically Gridiron. Um, I don't really like TDM at all. I like Kill Confirmed. Um, Capture the Flag is kind of slow because of spawn delay. If you die, it gets kind of stale. Um, Domination is an amazing mode if your teammates don't flip the spawns. Hardpoint's good if everyone's playing the objective. Those, those ones are really fun matches. Um, but as far as core goes, I'm pretty much a fan of core. I'm not a really a fan of war at all. I do have another video coming out. And it's going to show you specifically why war is complete garbage in my opinion. Um, especially when it comes to certain maps. I'm going to feature the Neptune map. So stay tuned for that on the channel if you want to see kind of why that map is just horrible for war. And it's only one of the three base maps. So if you don't have DLC, you're kind of lucked out on the maps. So right here, I'm just kind of playing my life. I do throw that nade. Um, I don't manage to hit them. I come back around this corner. I'm just kind of pre-aiming, peeking, coming around the corner. And then I'm able to laser that dude. He should have killed me 9 times out of 10. If it was a an average player, he would have killed me. So that guy is probably just new to the game. Shows he's level 4. So he's probably barely first time joining. Played a few matches. So he's not really familiar with the maps yet. So that one was an easy kill there. This guy, go ahead and hip fire him. It's a little hard to hit fire too in uh, hardcore just because you don't have any crosshairs. That's one of the weirdest things getting used to. You kind of know where the middle of the map is. But overall, if you don't see crosshairs, it makes it pretty difficult. See that guy's camping. He comes around, peeks around. And then I'm kind of playing the chase game depending on where the spawns are. I can see I'm trying to rotate this way, trying to peek him out. And it looks like this guy's coming around this way. But then he went back. So people are just moving all kinds of funky. And they're moving pretty fast. So I'm trying to get that guy over here. I go ahead and loop around. And you can see I'm kind of staying at the edge of the map where the spawn is, leaving a vacant spot, moving back, leaving a vacant spot, moving back, kind of rotating across the spawn. And that's the same way I would play free-for-all. And in general, when you play free-for-all, and that's in any Call of Duty, you pretty much want to rotate back and forth the spawn. I wouldn't recommend camping just in one location and just laying prone or none of that nonsense. I would recommend trying to position yourself in a way that's going to allow you to win more gunfights. This is technically camping, but the style of camping I would call it is the patrolling patrolling method. And that's pretty much where you patrol from side to side of the map and continue to hold down that side of the map. I'm going to rotate all the way around. It, it just really depends on what map you end up on. But for the most part, they are just the edges of the map where you normally spawn in in TDM. That's kind of the area that you want to lock down. You can get hit markers in hardcore. You can see that guy. He got me with one hit marker and I still lived. I got another 10 streak here. Go ahead and wipe that guy almost. And then I'm 26 and 6 right now up on the match. Um, and then just kind of trying to close it out. I only need four more kills. Sometimes in hardcore, it's all about streaks because sometimes what will happen is you'll go on a long streak and then all of a sudden you go on a death streak and then you can't recover. It's like, man, everywhere you go, People are already in their window or in their position camping. And then you're not able to actually get the kills you want to get. So a lot of times that's the frustrating part about hardcore as well. I don't even know where that guy came from. I never even saw him. So it's at this point I'm getting a little thirsty for those final kills. Um, you can see I'm kind of moving around. Try to get that guy. Hit fired him. Only need a couple more. Go ahead and kind of strafe around looking for someone to actually pop up. Listening for any audio cues. Because sometimes you can hear people running. Um, and then reposition or you can see here when they place a bouncing Betty or the S mines and then kind of run around. I'm thinking the guy might be in the same spot, not there. And then I kind of rotate back. So I don't cross the map too often. I'm going to go ahead and chase this kill here. It looks like he kind of hears me because I threw my flashbang and my nade and they didn't get anything. And then I still don't get the kill. So I'm three off just a few more kills to end out the match. Since I've already kind of completed the challenge, I'm going to skip a little bit further ahead so you guys can check out that 1911 gameplay. It's going to be short and sweet, really quick streak. Um, if you did enjoy the video anyway, make sure you click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, turn those notifications on, and go ahead and follow me on Twitter. So the map is Texas, and um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to finish out the match. I wanted to get a win, uh, especially since I was getting gold camo since I knew I was going to try and put it on the channel. And uh, this is just me closing out the match. I got those two little rapid fire kills right there. I got a triple kill. And then now I'm trying to reposition. People were playing really slow on this map and really campy. So now I'm just kind of going off, going get my kills, reposition, move to the next spot, get another kill, and then just kind of try and play smart. I see people are kind of moving around the other side of the map. There's not really many people on this side. I see the guy trying to peek under or around. So I kind of pop out, 
try to take him out and then I move around get a different angle and see if he pops out the back so right here I see him boom quick little shot got the little bloodthirsty and then now I am getting the camo um, obviously unlocked I just un un completed that so right here I can see this guy's peeking in the back I don't see a good shot there I gotta kind of reline it up let me run to the other side I'm still down 22 to 28 so basically there's almost no chance of me winning this so now I got 23 kills 24 kills 22 to 28 man I'm coming back from eight eight away from the the goal and I was six down on top of this guy and then now I'm just landing every single shot every shot was money one shot no burst needed landing these kills easy and I'm actually taking over the win be surprised that I actually do come back all the way and clean these guys up with these long shots you, you, I wasn't missing I was on fire so I took that over that guy didn't get a single kill during my eight kill streak there Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.